Do you like Ben 10? Then hit like. The Ben 10 reboot has just ended with its fifth season, and many fans of Ben 10, both new and old, are wondering what the next life for Ben will be. Will it be a live action series? A Kevin 11 spinoff? An Omniverse continuation? A Ben 10,000 series? Another series of a different version of Ben like Ben 23? A continuation of the reboot? A whole new reboot? An Alien Force reboot? A Ken 10 series? So many options. But I'm just going to use critical thinking and analysis based on hours upon hours of research that I've conducted as well as official statements from the Ben 10 crew members themselves to show you which options are definitely not going to happen, which options are possible but unlikely, and which options are possible and likely. Rada rada my brothers and sisters by God. This is your brother in Christ, Abstract Schnitzel, here with another video. And this is an analysis of the next life for Ben 10. Here we go. So right now, at the time that I'm making this video, Cartoon Network and Man of Action have not yet decided what the next Ben 10 series will officially be. They're developing many options, and many factors will determine how and when Ben's next iteration will finally settle. But since they still don't have any plans revealed yet, we can at least look at the predictions that many Ben 10 fans have made so far and pick out the ones that are most likely. Let's start with the Kevin 11 series. The idea of a Kevin 11 spin-off stemmed from a rumor from a blog post by C. Pula on February 15th, 2019, who, according to his own blog, spent four decades working for the animation industry and retired making blog posts in his free time. In the post he made, he listed multiple shows from Cartoon Network and their airing status. He listed Ben 10 as an ongoing series and Kevin 11 as an incoming series. This rumor was pretty believable, so it spread around the fandom, all over Twitter, and throughout other forms of social media, and the traction continued when YouTubers started making videos about the supposed Kevin 11 series. However, one user on Twitter asked Ben 10 co-creator Duncan Rillo if Kevin would be unlocking new aliens in the Kevin 11 spinoff, and Duncan said the spinoff was only a rumor. That pretty much debunks the theory. To this day, there are still people sharing info around about this supposed spin-off, all because of one blog post from someone who provided no evidence or sources for their information. But it's really the fandom that caused this rumor to spread. Now, that's not to say it's impossible for a Kevin 11 spin-off to be the next series. I think it's still possible, but I think it's also highly unlikely. If it did happen, it would probably be Reboot Kevin, or a different version of Kevin completely different from Original Kevin and Reboot Kevin. But I just don't really find it realistic, because both versions of 11 year old Kevin have pretty dark stories that parents might not want the main character of their kid's favorite cartoon having. Original Kevin was homeless, kicked out from his house, and Reboot Kevin doesn't have a normal family, just an alcoholic dad. So the Kevin 11 rumor is just a rumor, and although a Kevin 11 series is possible, it's highly unlikely that it's going to be the next iteration of Ben 10. Now let's talk about another option for Ben 10's next life, a live action series. The idea of a live action series all started from a news article that rose from The Geeks Worldwide, published on March 25th, 2019, coincidentally a month after the Kevin 11 spinoff rumor started. This article claimed that Warner Bros. was in the early stages of developing a live-action iteration of the cartoon franchise, stating the writer for the new series was yet to be revealed, but likely would not be Ryan Engel. This article quickly gained traction over Twitter, and other news sites wanted in on the clicks, so they made their own news stories about the supposed live-action series, which helped the rumors spread more and more until, next thing you know, a bunch of YouTubers once again made their own videos hyping up this live action series, and this rumor was spread around as if it were a fact. But the problem with this rumor was that the original source, Geeks Worldwide, never provided any sources at all, not one, despite even mentioning quotes, sources say. But who am I kidding, even I believe these articles. But a few months later, Duncan Reload once again disconfirmed this rumor saying there was no live-action Ben 10 series in the works by Warner Bros. Duncan later, once again, disconfirmed the rumor, as people still kept spreading this rumor around, after the first ebook. It's funny how we all learn not to trust everything we read on the internet, 
yet we still do it anyway. So, there's no live action series in the works, and there probably won't be, because looking at this from a logical perspective, the two live action Benson movies that did exist were not received too well with their limited budget, and a live action series relying on special effects for aliens would also have a limited budget, and probably would be even lower of quality. Both the live action series and the Kevin Eleven spinoff were rumors that started and got debunked in the same year, one right after the other. But for some reason, these rumors are still spreading as if they are facts, when they are in fact not. We need to learn to check for official sources before spreading rumors. Okay, what about a Ben 10,000 series? Well, here's the problem with the Ben 10,000 series. How many aliens does Ben 10,000 have? Over a thousand. That's a lot. Now, let's think about Omniverse, the show that we all love dearly that included almost every alien in Ben 10 history. If you had a favorite alien, you probably got to see them for at least a couple of episodes, and Omniverse ended with 61 different aliens, with only 4 of those 61 aliens not appearing, not including the other versions of Ben. But imagine trying to fit over 10,000 aliens into one series. You'd barely get to see any familiar aliens if Ben used that many, even with Master Control. Not to mention the amount of powers that would just be repeated. I mean, there are already a ton of aliens that share similar powers. There wouldn't be a lot of unique aliens, just because you can't really come up with that many powers. Now, you might be thinking, wouldn't Ben 10,000 just use the best of his 10,000 aliens? And to that I say, yeah, he probably would. But how many aliens would be considered the best? Only 100 of the 10,000? 200? 1,000? And here's another issue with the Ben 10,000 series. It won't sell toys. I think we can all agree that a Ben 10,000 series, as cool as it would be, wouldn't sell too many toys, because the main character would be an adult, so it would be harder for the new generation of kids to appreciate it or at least relate to it. Now you might say, what about putting it on Adult Swim instead of Cartoon Network? Didn't they do that with Samurai Jack's reboot? Or sequel? Whatever it was? And to that I say, yeah, it worked for Samurai Jack, but Cartoon Network wouldn't do that for Ben 10 because, unlike Samurai Jack, Ben 10 makes a lot of its money from toy sales. It needs to sell toys, that's what it was made for. Not just the reboot, but all the series of Ben 10, even the original series. They were all made to sell toys, and their success was determined by both toy sales and TV ratings. Why do you think Generator X ended? because it was made to sell toys and didn't sell a lot. Why do you think Ben 10 lasted for 15 years and counting? Because it's always Ben selling toys. Ben gets a new alien, there's a toy of it. Ben gets a new Omnitrix, there's a toy of it. Ultimate Aliens, Omni Enhancements, Omni Kicks, Omni Knot, toys, 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 and toys. The diverse aliens and new Omnitrixes allow easy toy sales. If a Ben 10,000 series aired on Adult Swim, I don't think they'd be making toys of it because their target audience wouldn't be kids. They'd be adults, and adults don't really play with toys the way kids do. So they'd be relying solely on ratings, which from a business perspective isn't a smart decision for a show that could be making racks on toys. So Cartoon Network wouldn't make that decision. To reboot haters out there, as much as you might not like it, the reason it lasted for four years is because it successfully sold toys and also had better ratings than most of the other Benson series. As Ben got older, ratings kept falling. The reboot brought the ratings back up. And by the way, when I refer to ratings, I'm talking about TV ratings, as in the number of viewers per episode debut, not ratings on IDMB or Rotten Tomatoes or whatever other sites there are. Cartoon Network doesn't care about those online internet ratings because their target audience aren't the ones rating on those sites but their target audience are the ones watching new episodes of the reboot during each debut, thus giving it such high ratings. Duncan never really responded to any tweets about a Ben 10,000 series because there weren't really any rumors about one. It was really just speculation, unlike the previous two supposed series that I mentioned earlier. But from both a logical perspective and a business perspective, a Ben 10,000 series wouldn't be very likely, so we can rule that out. But what about a continuation of Benton Omniverse? This idea has especially been trendy due to the Restore the Omniverse hashtag all over Twitter. Well, I'm just gonna flat out say no. Duncan disconfirmed this too, but before we even get into that, 
it doesn't really make sense for them to continue where Omniverse left off because Omniverse was supposed to be the last of what we saw of the original continuity. The whole point of the reboot was to get the new generation of kids into Ben 10. So why in the world would it make sense to get a new generation involved, then go back to a series that ended over six years ago? And the hashtag restore the Omniverse thing isn't doing any good, unless you're trying to annoy the creators of the show, because the creators do not own Ben 10. They sold the series to Cartoon Network. So Cartoon Network makes the decisions and have the final say in everything related to Ben 10. Man of Action is involved in making the show, but Cartoon Network makes the final decisions. Cartoon Network is who you would want to be asking. I've been digging through hundreds of tweets of people begging for Duncan to make a series continuing Omniverse while I've been researching for this video, but he literally can't, even if he and the rest of Man of Action wanted to, because Cartoon Network owns the show, not Man of Action. And Cartoon Network wouldn't care about the hashtag because nostalgic teens and young adults aren't their target audience for Ben 10. Kids are. The current generation of kids is the target audience. But anyway, let's get into the tweets. On Twitter, Duncan made it clear that the art style of the next series will not be like that of the previous series, and that the teams and visions of the new series will not be the same either. The Ben 10 crew is focused on bringing new concepts and ideas to the forefront, and older series will always be there for fans to watch. He also tweeted that he's not sure where the Omniverse 2 rumor started, but that there are no plans to restart an old series. He also talked about the reboot, saying that a lot of kids favor it, and on Ask.fm, Derek J. Wyatt, the art director for Ben 10 Omniverse, once said that generally the executives think aging Ben up was a mistake because that caused toy sales and ratings to drop. And uh, Derek is also one of the people that's been annoyed and he's actually complaining about it. So maybe you should stop tagging him in the Restore to Omniverse hashtag. Anyway, that's a no to an Omniverse sequel. So that's out of the picture. They're moving on and there may be an older Ben show at some point, but not anytime soon. What about a Ken 10 series? That would solve the 10,000 Aliens issue that a Ben 10,000 series would have as the show would be centered around Ken rather than Ben and Ken would be a kid so his age would match the target audience. And it would be nice because we'd get to see Ben 10,000 more often but maybe just not in every episode. And since the crew wants to keep the Omnitrix at 10 Aliens, they could do this with Ken's Omnitrix. This series idea would be a possibility but there's a twist to this idea. If there was a Ken 10 series, just like the supposed Kevin 11 series, it wouldn't be classic Ken 10 or Omniverse Ken 10, it would be reboot Ken 10. Duncan has already stated that the crew isn't going to continue the original continuity, so if there was a Ken 10, it would be Ken in the reboots universe. But would this be a possibility for the next life for Ben 10? I personally don't find it likely, but it could be possible. It definitely is much more likely compared to the previous ideas I discussed. What about a Ben 23 spinoff? This was an idea I came up with a while back, mainly because Ben 23's life is interesting in that his version of Grandpa Max died, so Max didn't get to teach Ben how to use the Omnitrix or what being a hero was about, so he did heroing for fame and fortune instead of solely for the good of the people. This is a story that could definitely be built off of. Maybe he'd mature and learn what being a hero is really about over time. He's still a young kid, so he'd definitely be someone the current generation of kids could relate to, and he's also someone older Ben 10 fans could get by. Plus, the series would probably sell toys well, since Cartoon Network could determine Ben's initial playlist and choose aliens that they think would sell toys well. But the issue with this idea is that the story that Ben 23 has is based on Ben 23 and Omniverse, and since the crew isn't going to make another series based on the classic continuity, this Ben 23 series, or any series with an alternate Ben for that matter, would be rebooted. So, like the Ken 10 series idea, a series with an alternate version of Ben could be possible, but I don't think it's very likely. It would make more sense to have a prime version of Ben as a kid, not an alternate timeline version, or a version with this son. What about a continuation of Ben 10 with reboot Ben? Now, this right here is definitely possible and probably the most likely to happen of all these things I've mentioned before. The Ben 10 reboot series has constantly been slowly expanding itself. Ben slowly matured. Ben's battles slowly became more difficult. 
then slowly I had to get better at being a true hero. And a lot of side characters had their own storylines and barely got touched on. We were supposed to get some projects that would explain more about Kevin's background and his anti-tricks, explaining Bashmouth species, explaining where Kevin got the anti-tricks DNA, and explaining how Kevin's DNA cross-contaminated his aliens. And given that Kevin's not an Osmosian in the reboot, I really was looking forward to finding all this out, especially since they've been building this stuff up since Season 3. Not to mention, we hardly know about Kevin's family. All we know about them is that Kevin's dad is a neglectful alcoholic, and that Kevin doesn't have a family to run back to. I mean, the Tennysons accepted him into their family, sort of, but they ditched him when they couldn't find him after he got hit by Alien V. And what about Max being a plumber? They've had subtle hints of him being a plumber all throughout seasons 1 through 4, only to finally reveal that he was a plumber this whole time in the 5th season. With all these storylines, would it really make sense for them to end the reboot like this, with all these unanswered questions? I don't think it does. Plus, if they start making the new Ben 10 series this year, the generation of kids watching the new series wouldn't be that far off from the current generation of kids watching the reboot. It'd be pretty much the same generation, so fans of the current reboot and fans of the reboot's supposed sequel could be easily integrated. Now let's also get into some official statements that further increase the likelihood of this possibility. Duncan has made many statements about an older Ben show, both on Twitter and on an interview with the Ink Tank. On Twitter, Duncan keeps talking about what Ben needs to do in the future as he continues maturing. Ben needs to take his powers more seriously. Ben hasn't learned how to absorb alien DNA yet. Ben hasn't learned to use Accelerate's mask or make Humongousaur grow. Aliens from the Omnitrix aren't lost, Ben just either hasn't discovered them yet, or he cycled them out and doesn't know how to cycle them back in. He keeps mentioning that Ben has not yet learned how to do stuff, implying that he will learn in the future, or at least needs to learn for the future. Additionally, Duncan said that the Ben 10 reboot is a show about Ben growing up. As Ben's summer goes on, his world gets bigger. And we do see this. At first, he only travels through the US but then he starts traveling around the world, then through space, then time, then other dimensions. Same thing with the villains. He starts off fighting earthly villains, then cosmic threats, then interdimensional extraterrestrials. If Ben 10 is a show about Ben 10 getting older, what does that mean for a sequel? At this point, you might be thinking, there's gonna be an Alien Force reboot. Well, on Twitter, Duncan said there were no plans for one. He did, however, say that the more serious versions of Ben will be more spread out. On the Ink Tanks interview with him, We felt that we had gotten Ben older too quickly. What we also did, we got old quickly. It got serious quickly. When Duncan said that Ben aged up too fast, he was referring to Ben being 10 in the original series, then all of a sudden being 15 in Alien Force, with no easing into his aging in between. And uh, we kind of felt like we we didn't spend enough time with young Ben for a, for a period of time. We wanted to spend a couple more seasons with him before we started marching, because if you're going to do this properly, take your time. The fact that Duncan was saying Ben was aging too fast, I think, shows that if the reboot does get a sequel, it's going to age Ben up only slightly. Maybe it would just be 10-year-old Ben in school, or maybe it would be 11 or 12-year-old Ben. That way, he wouldn't be aged up a ton, just a little bit. Enough to get the tone slightly darker, but not as dark as Alien Force. Because Duncan said... And also, uh, the network started going to these 11-minute formats, and you can't really tell a great sequential story in 11 minutes. You know, some of the... Uh, it's got to be a setup and a payoff. Uh, so, it worked for us and what we wanted to do at that moment, but there were a lot of other kind of uh, reasons for where we were with it. And the show not being so dark would also help with the 11-minute formats. So, a continuation of the Ben 10 reboot would definitely be possible and highly likely. What about another reboot? This option is also possible and has a higher likelihood of happening compared to many of the other options. Scooby-Doo, Sonic, Marvel, DC, and all sorts of other TV shows had many, many, many reboots because each series was successful. Ben 10 could definitely be like those other shows. It could definitely do the same thing. However, I believe, although this option has a high likelihood of happening, it doesn't have as high of a chance of happening as a continuation of the reboot. 
because Duncan also said in the Ink Tanks interview, the, the kind of the philosophy behind cartoons was always that it's kids' properties and it's not adult properties, uh, but that stuff was changing. And the anime had a, had a lot to do with it. But for some reason over here in North America, it took a lot longer for um, management and for uh, for the executives to kind of uh, take the risk. And Batman was one of them. We started getting into the older stuff. But what we also did, we got old quickly. It got serious quickly. Based on the segment I just showed, it seems like Duncan is saying that cartoons being kids' property is changing, but then aged up too quickly. I feel like based on the way he worded his statements, along with the fact that the reboot still has unfinished storylines, he might be implying the previous series idea, a continuation of Reboot Ben with him aged slightly. But hey, maybe I could be wrong. Maybe this next series will be another reboot. Both ideas are still very likely to happen. So, of all the ideas for the next Ben 10 series, the ones that are definitely not happening are the live action series, the Ben 10,000 series, and a continuation of Omniverse and or the original continuity in general. The ideas that are possible but unlikely are a Kevin 11 spinoff, a Ken 10 series, or a spinoff with an alternate version of Ben. The ideas that are both possible and the most likely to happen are a continuation of the reboot with Ben aged slightly, or another Ben 10 reboot. And the one that I'm betting on is the continuation of the reboot. Now, all these ideas are ideas that Ben 10 fans have speculated on, but Man of Action and Cartoon Network are coming up with many options for the next series, probably a ton that us fans never would have thought about, because Cartoon Network's goal is to have a show that will increase their profits, and if toys and ratings are the ways that Ben 10 does that, they're going to want to have a series that can do that well, hopefully better than the reboot, or even better than the original series. So, this decision could take some time. I've seen a lot of clickbaiting YouTubers putting out fake videos about the new series coming soon, but it's not. They haven't even started working on it, so I wouldn't even expect it to be announced until at least next year, and I wouldn't expect it to come out until at least 2023 or even 2024, so you gotta be patient on this series. So, does that mean we won't be seeing any new Ben 10 content from Cartoon Network for a while? Well, it could mean that, but I think there's still a chance we could get some new Ben 10 content from Cartoon Network before the new series comes out. Perhaps the reboot isn't over just yet. What do you mean, Abstract? Season 5 just ended, and Duncan said there probably won't be a sixth season. Well, remember the Kevin 11 series rumor? Well, Duncan confirmed that a Kevin 11 series was not in the works. But what if the Kevin 11 project we heard about wasn't a series, but just a project made for us to learn everything we need to learn about Kevin and the reboot? Remember all those things I mentioned about Kevin that we don't know yet? Like the workings of the Antitrix, Bashmouth's species, Kevin's special DNA, and the Antitrix DNA samples? Well, Duncan did say there would be other projects besides season 5 of the reboot. He also said Bashmouth would be a case Kevin would have to deal with, and that hopefully they'd get to tell his story soon enough. He additionally said that the crew is working on something that will explain Kevin's aliens and the inner workings of the Antitrix. He also held back information about Kevin from a user asking on Twitter to avoid ruining some stories down the road. And when someone else on Twitter asked if we'd see Skunkmouth more, Duncan said there was a definite chance and uh, Skunkmouth didn't appear at all in season 5, so where else would he appear besides a project? And then we found out that there was another element that was slash is up for grabs at the moment that dealt directly with the hybrid components of the Antitrix aliens. But this element was put on pause due to changes at Warner Brothers, Cartoon Network, and HBO Max. Can you see where I'm going with this? Well, the crew had spent a long time building and hyping up the revelation of Kevin, quite obviously ever since his conception in the reboot, based on the fact that the dream with instructions to build the Antitrix occurred right after Vilgax got sent to the Null Void, and even more so since we found out Vilgax sent Kevin the dream to build the Antitrix. And Duncan said the crew already started working on the project, but now it's up for grabs and is currently on pause. If it's on pause, that means work on the project could resume. But he did say it's up for grabs, so they could also scrap the project. So, 
the Ben Center reboot might not actually be over just yet. Let me put it this way. The reboot didn't get a proper conclusion because there's still so much that we don't know about Kevin and Max. But if we did end up getting projects that would explain these things, the reboot would have proper closure, which would mean that the next series would be more likely to be something different than a continuation of the reboot. So what's next for Ben 10? Nobody knows, not even Man of Action. We don't really know how far the crew got into this project, but I would hope that this project would resume. Then we'd get to see some more of Reboot Ben and have our questions answered. So I guess for those of you who are curious about Kevin and the Reboot, there's still hope for the Reboot to have proper closure before it officially ends. But if Season 5 does end up being the end of the Reboot, at least we'll have another series to look forward to, and hopefully this series would answer our questions. All the crew statements that I mentioned will be in the description, including the link to the Ink Tanks interview with Duncan Rillo. I spent a lot of time doing this research and analysis before making all of these conclusions, so if you appreciate the time and effort that I put into this video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing, and maybe even leaving a comment about how you feel about the next life for Ben. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to walk by faith and not by sight. God bless.